Hello friends, how are you all? My today's topic is reptiles. As you know in the last video we did amphibians so today we are going to do reptiles. So first of all we will know that what are reptiles. Most of you may be knowing but then also let's have a discussion on what are reptiles. So reptiles are creatures which have scales and have no fur. They have dry skin and they lay eggs and they are cold blooded. So some examples of reptiles are crocodilians, nude, nude is an amphibian by the way, uh, poison dart frog, lizards etc. So we'll do amphibians versus reptiles. Amphibians and reptiles are both ectothermic means cold, uh, cold blooded so here here we are uh, knowing a new word for cold blooded which is ectothermic so they are cold blooded and vertebrates but there are differences between them so what are the differences between amphibians and reptiles first of all amphibians are born with gills but well, they breathe through gills and reptiles breathe through lungs then amphibians have thin and moist skin, but reptiles have dry skin with scales. Amphibians lay jelly-like eggs, well, trans they lay transparent-like eggs, but reptiles lay leathery eggs with shells. Amphibians, um, uh, most, uh, most of the amphibians undergo metamorphosis, which is a process of reproduction, and reptiles... Mm, uh, hatchlings look like adults. Well, uh, when the hatchlings come out of the egg, they mostly look like adults. But amphibians undergo metamorphosis. So these are the differences between amphibians and reptiles. Now we'll uh, learn about some types of reptiles which are alligator. Male alligators make loud throaty bellowing roars to attract females. Females seldom reach over 9 feet in length while, uh, while males may reach 14 feet. Female alligator lay their eggs during June to early July. The female alligator builds her nest above ground. Th nest egg, uh, acts like an incubator, like a giant incubator. So over here this is the alligator and these are its eggs, these are baby alligators. Anaconda. Anacondas are viviparous, bearing live young. Females usually give birth to 20 to 40 babies but can give birth up to 100 babies. Anacondas are approximately 2 feet long at birth. Within hours after birth, anaconda babies can hunt, swim and care for themselves. So this is the anaconda and over here, here is baby, uh, here is X, here are its X. Basilix. Many times females will lay multiple clutches during a breeding, breeding season. Four to five clutches per season have been observed. Eggs typically hatch after about eight to ten weeks over a one to two day period. So these are the basilisks eggs. Basilisk is basically a type of snake. We can tell. Cobra. Reproduction. Indian cobras are oviparous and lay their eggs between the months of April and July. The female snake usually lays between 10, to 30, uh, 10 and 30 eggs in rat holes or termite mounds and the eggs Hatch 48 to 69 days later. So here is the cobra and here are its snakes. Oh, here. And here are its eggs. So now the next one which is copperhead. It is usually coppery or reddish brown. Well, copperhead is usually of coppery color or reddish brown color. It is dangerous but it is unaggressive when left alone. The copperhead of India is a rat snake, a laugh radiator. This is the 
copper head snake you can see it over here clearly because you know over here there are some colors due to which you can co uh, camouflage inside the picture so i'm showing you this is the copper head and this is that uh, this are its eggs crocodile crocodilians are either hole nesters or mound nesters that is they either excavate a hole usually in sand and bury their eggs or they construct a mound usually out of vegetation and deposit their eggs in the center of it so here are crocodile eggs iguana incubation lasts from 90 to 120 days Temperature should range from 85 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit. The hatchlings pip the egg open using a special egg tooth called caruncle that falls off shortly after hatching. So iguana and its eggs. Basically this is green iguana and its eggs. water moccasin it is a type of snake and it is also known as cotton mouth it's another name is cotton mouth in india and uh, it is a type of snake females have a gestation period of five months cotton mouths are uh, over uh, over paras, which means that eggs incubate inside the mother's body so this is basically the water moccasin or cotton mouth and here are its six lizard both snakes both snake eggs and lizard eggs are typically white in color and ovular in shape snake eggs can have a more elongated or oblong shape when compared to lizard eggs but this isn't always the case Lizard eggs can also come in different colors such as brown or light green. So, based on the lizard, the eggs can be produced like brown or light green. Over here, the lizard eggs are white, uh, basic white, okay? So, I hope you found this video informative and you learned something new today from this video. So for many more learning videos, please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Bye.